for the inauguration of Ireland's second national radio service, RTE Radio 2. And on your behalf, may I now invite the Minister for Post and Telegraphs, Mr. Porrick Faulkner, TD, to formally inaugurate the new service. Radio Television, I sought on Kerala Hoxie do on Radio Ado, I ask her to have you. It's more on Dolphin Chin, I thought Janta a Gursi Kralakine, or Bonnie Station Radio Walla Hatlia, Ado RN. A young girl, tall and small, a very young Sheravish Nua, I was coming in a Taraka Gahondul, Nis Etrama, non a Taraka, a Radio Hin. Tasu Lagam, not Nyan Fali. Are our Yol Fain. Tasulagam Fosta, come in for Usaj as in Sheravish Nua, Conangaya, Agus and Tiak Nashunta, Akararai, Agus Kamani Pub in the Hern, Salt of the Sass of Astatarica. On this occasion, it is worthwhile to recall the modest beginning of broadcasting in Ireland. The National Broadcasting Service began with the official opening of the radio station Dublin 2RN on the 1st of January 1926, some 53 years ago. The first program was sent out from a single studio in Little Denmark Street and a transmitter located in a hut in the grounds of McKee Barracks near the Phoenix Park. The former director of broadcasting, the late Maris Gordon, uh, said in his book, 40 Years of Irish Broadcasting, the official program was ambitious. 16 items, including a weather report, running altogether from 7.45 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. That is for two and three quarter hours. There's no need for me to dwell on the growth and development which have taken place since then. Everybody is aware that RTE now provide a national radio service, two television services, and a special radio service in Irish for the Gaelpacht which is also available throughout the country on VHF. From the earliest days, the Irish Broadcasting Service placed great emphasis on live music of all kinds. The original station trio of 1926 grew into what are now known as the RTE Concert and Symphony Orchestra. Uh, Irish radio has contributed significantly to the remarkable revival of traditional music in recent years. RTE has become one of the principal patrons of the art and I hope and believe it will continue and develop this laudable tradition. We are inaugurating a second national radio service from one of the most modern radio centres in Europe. The new service will have a daily output of 19 and a half hours of broadcasting. It will complement the existing national radio service which had its origin in 1926 in that studio in Little Denmark Street, and which has been providing programs of the highest quality and standards. I'm sure that the people responsible for the new service will aim to achieve the same high standards in the areas it will cater for as have been achieved by Radio One, and that the necessary reliance on advertising revenue to finance the new service will not have an, ad an adverse influence on these standards. This new service will not involve any increase in the existing television license fee, as RTE are confident that the extra costs will be met from advertisements. This is the second major broadcasting development in the past 12 months, following as it does the opening of the second television channel last November. Our thanks are due to the members of the authority, whose term of office is ending, for their dedicated service in overseeing these major developments and in the carrying out of their other duties in relation to broadcasting. The staff involved in both projects are also to be complimented on the obvious enthusiasm and effectiveness which they have brought uh, to them and which augur well for the future of Irish broadcasting. Agusanish, Fogriam, Radio, Ado, Fuskerje, Gahofigul, Agusgriam, Rathje, Aranaba.
Well, my heart goes, Ara. Thank you, Minister. Well, with the introduction of RTE Radio 2, our existing service will now be known as RTE Radio 1. And so to give you a flavour of the new service, until half past one today, the opening show on RTE Radio 2 will be carried on both services. So let us begin with uh, formal station identification for the first time. This is RTE Radio 2. It's 23 minutes to 1 o'clock. And to present Pop Around Ireland, here is Larry Gogan. Thank you very much indeed, Brendan, and welcome to the first show on Radio 2. Yeah, well, we've been waiting for uh, oh, an all-day nationwide music station for a long time. Now we have it. We're going to bring you 19 and a half hours of the best sounds every day. Music for everyone. Our first disc comes from the five Dublin lads who took the international scene by storm and proved an Irish group could top the British chart. Yes, indeed, the Boomtown Rats. Like clockwork, lads. <laughs> 